Hey guys, so we're in the studio today and I wanted to bring you behind the scenes and give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how to create in-camera effects. Now you might be wondering what that means and I don't know if you've ever seen um, images that can be used as overlays such as bokeh, uh, dirt or scratches or even sunbeams. Um, so what we're gonna do is kind of recreate that so you can see how to do it on your own. And over here, I have my background light set up, which is the NAND light LED. It's really awesome because it has multiple spectrums of different colors, so I can just adjust it. Now, you don't need that light in order to be able to accomplish this. You can actually use a softbox with a gel and the color of your choice, and you'll still get the same result. Now, over here, I chose to use a Dracast video light. Again, you can also use a soft box or another constant light to get the same effect. And really what it's doing is lighting up and acting as my key light to light up the ornaments and the different subjects that I'm using. So you can see I've got, I bought this ornament at Michael's Craft Store. I have the sun catcher that I bought online. And then also these beads that were also bought at the craft store as well. You can combine these all together for multiple effects in one image, or you can shoot them one by one. So I just kind of want to show you and go behind the camera and take a couple shots and explain as you manipulate and move each of the items, it actually creates a certain effect. So we'll be back in a moment. So since I don't have a subject in my background, I'm actually going to just create an overlay that you can actually put over any photo photograph that you want. So as you'll see is I'm gonna take some images, some shots here, and I'm literally going to manipulate my sun catcher because each shot that I take, it actually creates a different effect just by manipulating and maneuvering the sun catcher. Um, and now you just have to be careful to try not to get your hands in the scene. But I'm also gonna then take the beads and I'm gonna work with those as well. So you can move them as close or as far away as you want. And if you wanna combine them both, you can do that as well. And again, depending where your subject is going to be placed, you can brush them in how dramatic you want or how small you want them as well. So I'll also just take this ornament, just so you can see a few examples of this. Now the bottom is not getting in the frame at all. Again, I'm just twisting it because the light's hitting it in a different way and manipulating it and creating all different effects. And it's super easy, like you don't even have to get crazy. If you have colored bubble wrap, you literally can take that and use it in your scene and it creates a really cool effect too, depending how close or far away you decide to bring it to the lens itself. So we'll come over to the computer and I'll show you some of the images that I got. All right, so now I wanna show you the results of what you just saw me shooting in camera and how just by bending and manipulating the light, the effects that it actually creates. So this is actually the bubble wrap here and I just love, it almost created a little bit of a rainbow effect here and it's very ethereal. And as you can see, just going through all these images, it created different bokeh, light leaks, um, all different street effects. And it's really, really cool. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to put it on an image and show you the before and after. And I'll achieve this by using different blend modes in Photoshop. So stay tuned. And if you like what you saw, you have any comments or questions, please feel free to reach out.